guys welcome back to my channel i'm so sorry if the lighting is a little off it's such an ugly day today in good old cuse ah, just been raining all day and it's gray and i need camera lights i just don't know what kind to get so I may do a little bit of research. Today for a video, I have a haul for you guys. There's a little bit of drugstore, a little bit of TJ Maxx, and then some Ulta. So let's just jump right into the video. Everything will be linked down below, so make sure you check out the description box if you're interested in any of these products. So the first thing I have here, which Boobs actually got for me, oh, this is the Naked Smoky Palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this little guy before. It's a really awesome cool toned palette if you like cool toned shadows and the brush that it comes with is amazing it's like a fluffy brush and then a pencil brush on the other side to kind of smoke out the lower lash line but this is what this little gem looks like it's absolutely gorge mahorge again if you like cool tone shadows you will absolutely love this let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial using this palette just leave me a comment down below also picked up another pack of the ardell 120 demi black lashes you guys know these are my favorite lashes in the entire world it is what i'm wearing today and i'm just obsessed if you guys don't really know how to put on lashes or if it's kind of hard for you or you get lashes that have too thick of a band try these these are literally so easy to apply these lashes are the reason why i actually started wearing eyelashes because they're so easy to apply I, oh, I can't stress that enough. They are amazing. And they look so natural and just so fun. Oh, I love it. I also got the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter. This is in the shade Bright Up Your Life. I am obsessed with this. This is so beautiful. And literally the consistency is amazing. Because right when it hits the skin, it turns into a powdered finish. But it is cream when you first touch it. It is just so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I like to set this down first and then put another highlighter on top so that I'm beaming. That is beautiful. I really enjoy that highlighter. You guys should totally check it out. It's literally like three bucks. You can't go wrong. And then the last few things I got from Ulta are all lip products. Obviously, everyone's been on the whole liquid lipstick train. Two, two, so have I. So I wanted to try the Ulta Matte Lip Creams. I got three shades. I like the top because it feels like the NARS packaging. It's like that rubberized texture. So this is in the shade Striking, and it's a nice everyday kind of rosy pink color that has purple undertones to it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And these last on the lips for a really long time. I actually really enjoy these. And they're not too, too drying on the lips, which I really appreciate. This one is in the shade Elusive. This formula is weird. It's more of a wet consistency. So I find that it takes forever to literally dry down on the lips. I don't know why. The other two don't do that. But it's a really pretty purple color. I'm obsessed. But it's just so wet. I don't understand what's going on there. And then the last shade I got is Stirring, which is a brick red kind of color with a bunch of mauve undertones to it. Oh, so pretty. I love these. If you guys haven't tested these out before, I definitely recommend them. I also got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is in the shade San Paolo. I like these. These are really nice as well. The last thing I got at Ulta was the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick. This is in the shade 1993, and this lipstick is a matte finish. These last so long on the lips. I was so impressed when I first tried it. This is more of like a brown nude, but it's so pretty. Oh my god. Moving right into what I got at TJ Maxx. I love shopping at TJ Maxx for makeup because they have such amazing finds, and they're hidden gems. I love that. So this is the Measurable Difference Face and Body Bronzer, the shade Copper. This was $4 at TJ Maxx. I like the packaging of this. I don't know why. It's just so basic and it's just like... Meh. But this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. If you guys want more of like that natural, subtle highlight, this will be your best friend. This is actually the highlighter I'm wearing on my cheeks today along with something else. It's more of like a white based highlighter and then underneath that highlighter i have the radiance enhancer from elf this is in the shade spotlight pen highlight 
like this and you twist it up from the bottom but this is what I have underneath the measurable difference highlight this is really pretty this has more of a pinkier undertone to it but again this makes you look super natural I love natural highlights some days and then other days I like really intense highlights I also got this lipstick this is the Sephora Pantone Universe Fire and Earth Lip Ombre Lipstick Duo this was five dollars at TJ Maxx so I definitely wanted to pick it up because I love the Pantone collections I just think they're so fun and this packaging is ridiculous so you push the bottom to get one side up and this is in the shade deep claret and then you put this down there and then you push <laughs> shade carnelian <laughs> what so you can wear these alone or you can put them on top of one another I would definitely put the orange on top of the burgundy color and it would just be so pretty and different I love like different lip combos like that and the last thing I got from TJ Maxx which was three bucks this is the Kala natural eyes crease brush it's also eco-friendly oh I've been using this so much lately this brush is incredible for three dollars so fluffy so soft I was very impressed with this little guy. So moving right into drugstore items. This guy I picked up at Five Below. This is the lip color Balm in the shade First Love. I thought that this was such a pretty peach color. There's a lot of pink undertones to it, and they're really hydrating. Next lip product I got at Rite Aid. This is the Velvet Lip Cream from Bonita in the shade Nude Indulgence. I like the packaging of this little guy. It's supposed to be a liquid lipstick. This I have in the middle of my lips today. This is what that one looks like. It's a nice everyday mauve kind of color. And then on the rest of my lips I have Sandstorm from Wet n Wild. You guys know how I feel about these Wet n Wild lipsticks. Oh my gosh. That's what Sandstorm looks like. It's a really nice coppery brown nude. If you have not tried Wet n Wild lipsticks, what are you doing? These are so amazing. They're better than high-end lipsticks. So incredible. The pigmentation is spot on. The longevity is spot on. I'm obsessed. So this is in the shade Raven Raisin. Such a deep purple mauve shade. This one is in the shade Rosebud. This one is in the shade Vamp It Up, which is so dark. It's like the darkest purple color I've ever owned in my entire life. <laughs> Cinnamon Spice. Those are the Wet n Wild lipsticks that I got. I love Wet n Wild. They're so amazing. Okay, and then the last lip product I got is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. This is their version of liquid lipsticks. I really enjoy these. This one's in the shade HD Addiction. And I like the applicator too. It's nice and flat. Oh and I also got the e.l.f. smudge pot in the shade Ain't That Sweet. I love these smudge pots. They last so long on the lids. It's insane. This one you can use as a face highlight. Oh, look how beautiful that is. It has like peaches, pinks, yellows, a smidge of like a purple. It is so beautiful. If you guys haven't tried those, I highly recommend them. They last in your eyes for such a long time. And I have oily eyelids. They do not budge. Then I also got the Wet n Wild Fergie Highlight in the shade Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, this is so beautiful. I can't even deal. They are so pigmented. So buttery smooth. And then the last thing that completes my entire haul is the e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. Oh my gosh. I thought that this was like a weird product, but then when I started using it, I was like, what? If you have dry under eyes, I definitely recommend getting this guy. It's not going to make your under eyes like super, super hydrating, but it's definitely going to cut down the dryness. It has more of like a silicone feel to it, like a little pump, and it's kind of like a pink color, and it just smooths out the entire under eye area. It is actually really nice, and I think this little guy was like $3.00 but i actually really 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 like it it's so smoothing it feels like butter underneath your eyeballs it helps prolong the wear of your concealer so if you have problems with your concealer creasing your concealer kind of fading away throughout the day i would definitely try this because 
it'll help. Just got this in the mail. Of course it came after I was done filming. How annoying. But I'm so excited. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, which is super nice. As you guys know, it comes with pearl, champagne pop, and blushed copper. This is so beautiful. I can't even deal. Anything that Becca makes literally is so incredible. The formulation is amazing. The pigmentation is spot on. I love anything that Becca makes. I stand by Becca Cosmetics a thousand percent. They are so amazing. And the mirror is absolutely huge, which is great for traveling. I'm going to do a few swatches for you guys as well so you can kind of see the colors, but oh, so beautiful. So this is Pearl, Champagne Pop, and Blushed Copper. Blushed Copper I thought was going to be really weird, but it actually works so well as a blush overlay. Kind of like the reason why they made it. It just makes your cheeks look so illuminated and so pretty. I highly recommend this if you guys can get your hands on it. Um, I'm going to check to see if Sephora still has it on their website. So I will leave that down below if they do. So that completes my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love hauls. If you want to see any reviews or demos using any of these products, leave it in the comments down below and I will gladly do that for you guys. So until my next video, I will talk to you guys later.